All right, here's Times Square. And here is the ball that drops, and the 2021 is lit. And look, oh, we got a Fortnite advertisement. Look at that. We got a Fortnite ad right in Times Square. All right, let's go see if we can get some of those Batman Fortnite books, maybe, right? Let's go to Midtown Comics. We are in the area. Today, I'll do a little store tour. And here we are. That was quick, right? Let's go inside and check out what they got. All right, I took the train in. And we are coming to 42nd Street, Times Square. Give you guys the whole tour here. You serious? Let's get off the train and we'll go upstairs. Maybe I'll film the train pulling out for dramatic effect. Has this shot, has this shot, guys. Let me know in the comments below. And social distancing is still in effect. They have the footprints marked on the station platforms. And they are there permanently. I guess they're not going away. I guess it's permanent. All right, here's some music. Let's go check out the music. Let's get out of here. We're going to go upstairs and we are going to hit Midtown Comics today. Thank you so much for watching. A phone? Do people know what that is in 2021? Do they know how to use that? All right. And maybe we'll stop by the. Uh... There's a uh, Lichtenstein up here, isn't there? There it is. An actual Lichtenstein here. MTA wanted him to donate uh, to give an artwork, and they couldn't afford it, so he donated it. He found out he was getting 42nd Street, and he donated it. All right. Pop art icon right there for you guys. All right, let's go upstairs. And I think we are two blocks away here. All right, we're right on 7th Avenue. 42nd Street, and we need to go to 7th Avenue and 40th Street. We are going to go to... Times Square is that way, uptown? Can I go to Times Square first? All right, let's pass by the weed truck. They have weed and candy, I think. I don't know what this is. And look at that line. The weed truck has a line. It's like the new ice cream truck. Weed World Candies. All right. All right, we're going downtown. We're walking down 7th Avenue. We got one more block, right? Live stream your moments. I am live streaming. I am uh, stream my channel right now. 41st. All right, let's look for that Superman logo. 7th Ave. Let's check out the uh, Superman logo. Where is it? Can we see it from here? There it is, the Superman logo. You see it? Boom! Yeah! All right, well, they got two floors here. We'll go in, check out what they got. See some books. They got new books. They got some back issues. They got statues. I'm sorry for the glare. The sun's coming in here. Do a little jaywalking, and we'll walk right over to the... Uh, the entrance is on the side here. Let me get a shot, a dramatic shot of the uh, sign, Midtown Comics. Right? There's the, uh, there's the money shot. All right, let me uh, check out the signs here and the store hours. If you guys are interested. <clears throat> Two huge floors. Here's the store hours and all that kind of stuff. All right, let me back up for dramatic effect so I can enter properly. Here we go. All right?
cool little Star Wars poster. All right, they got that uh, Spider Gwen uh, poster on the right there. I think this is all their Midtown exclusive covers. All right, let's go inside. Here we go. Oh, it's crowded today. All right, on the right are all the new books. Look, they got a whole aisle of new books. Cool, man. They are stocked. Everything you can want. They got new Marvel, new DC, Image, and all the indies. They have, like, every new book that came out. And on the top row, they have some older books. It's all raw books here. Like, uh, Classics Illustrated was up there. Was that from the, from the uh, 60s or the 50s? And they had some old books. And the other aisles have... Tra There's a uh, manga here on that whole aisle. And they have trade paperbacks and uh, deluxe editions and graphic novels. Let's do this. Here is... Yes, yeah, I'm going to grab this book. Legends of the Dark Knight, they are re rebooting that series. If you guys remember that from the uh, 89 to 2003, Legends of the Dark Knight, it was a great Batman run. And this is Batman The Adventure Continues, also another reboot of the Batman Adventures from the Batman animated series. And I don't have this. This is an incentive variant. And this is cover B. Look at this. Cover B. Let me grab cover, cover A. Look at that beautiful cover. That yellow cover. Cover A. I'm going to grab another... I, I have that already, but I'm going to grab another copy. Because I love that book. All right, there's that uh, Jenny Friesen uh, variant cover for the... Uh, Something's Killing the Children, right? Aww. And here is Shadow Man. Is there a number one back there? Let's look. Let's hunt for a number one. Oh, there's a number two A and B cover. All right, pretty cool. There's Noctera. Firepower. Yeah, they have every book you can want. And they leave out the books from last week and the week before. They have like two weeks worth of books, usually. They'll have a sign two weeks ago, one week ago, and then new books. Like for each shelf. So if you missed anything, uh, you can catch up here. This is supposed to be great. Basilisk, right? Isn't that getting good reviews? <laughs> it's like a sci-fi kind of book. Oh, they got cover A and a cover B. Should I get greedy? Should I get greedy and take both? A and B? Do it! Do it! There's a Green Lantern down there. See him? Hanging out? In the aisle? It was, uh, Hal Jordan is in the store. All right. <clears throat> Got Radiant Black. What else you guys notice here? Shadecraft. <laughs> All right, that whole row was, uh, all new books. And we got Star Wars, The High Republic, and the uh, main run, Marvel run, Bounty Hunter run. Those Star Wars books were hot for a minute, but they kind of—I think they kind of cooled off. Let's check out the view here. That's where we were. We were just out there a minute ago, right? This is so meta. We're looking back in time to where we were. Uh, check out the stairs here behind us, because uh, upstairs there's a uh, back issues. Right, these other two aisles are all graphic novels and trade paperbacks. They have Funko Pop and uh, the whole aisle of, ish of uh, manga is a sign that says uh, back issues upstairs. More back issues. Sorry. Sorry. All right, let's check out the view also. There's a Deadpool statue. Cool little view, right? A second floor kind of view of the city. The city's still not 100%. It's still kind of uh, maybe half full. <laughs> Maybe we'll go upstairs. Oh, they have supplies here, bags and boards. Let's go upstairs. Let me get the view of the store, actually, from the stairs. Here we go. Look at this. Look at this professional footage. 
an elevated view of Midtown Comics. Like and subscribe if you like that view. Look at this. I'm Mike Spielberg. Nope. Right, the left is all the new books. Then the two other aisles are trade paperbacks, graphic novels, Funko Pop, manga. This store is stocked. And they have four stores. Let me get a little higher. I'll get a little higher for you guys. Triple kill! This is the elevated cam. The elevated cam. All right, and here we got uh, some uh, posters and some uh, cardboard cutouts. We got, uh, they have four stores. This is only the uh, Times Square store. This is the uh, main store, the flagship store. And they have a Grand Central on Lexington Avenue, which is like, it's called Block, we could walk to it, it's called Block from here. And we got Dragon Ball and we got Invincible. And then they have a store, Midtown Comics has a store downtown. Midtown Comics downtown. In the uh, financial district, little uh, conundrum, right? Little paradox. And then they have a store in Astoria in Queens. I think it's only open on the weekends. That's more like a, a warehouse, I think. Oh my God, who the hell cares? All right, they got some shirts here. Some Midtown Comics shirts. You notice Midtown Comics doesn't have a lot of slabs. Like, they don't have a lot of slabbed books. Or maybe a great wall of fame. Like, some stores have uh, old school back issues on the wall. No! Maybe they don't have so many... Uh, in their flagship store, in this store here. All right, here's their back issues here. There's some hats and stuff, paraphernalia. In the middle is the, uh, they got, what, six islands of back issues. So they got one island, two island, three island, and the back of these islands is another island behind it. So we got six total. Triple kill! And we got some statues on top. Aww. Look at that alien. These are actually big. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice. These statues are pretty big. I'm sorry for the glare of the sun coming into the glass, but it's beautiful that they have the window outside. The city is behind them, but it's just causing a lot of glare with the camera. Like they're floating, right? Huh? Hey, little Thanos, little Thor, Yoda. <laughs> Here's some back issues. I don't know if I have time. I don't want the video to be too long. Look at all this Funko Pop. I don't want to uh, bore you guys to death, but maybe I'll just dig in here for a second. What should we look for? Let me see if they have uh... Oh, look at that deceased. It's awesome, right? Let's see if they have any injustice, right? Right? Well done. Look at all these uh, the stocked back issues, too. They got some cool back issues. And they do. They have all the injustice. They have injustice 2, 3... They do have some injustice here. Very organized, very neat. Upstairs isn't that crowded. There's not that many people up here. Nope. Downstairs was much more the uh, the crowd. There's some Batman section, the Batman family. Look at that. It's that is it the Gabriel Delato cover? They have a great website, too. If you go on the Midtown Comics website, they usually have specials and sales and stuff, and you can shop uh, their old comics. Look at the Shining. Oh, it's Jack Torrance doll. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, Nightmare on Elm Street. You got, they got the, uh, it, the clown. Pennywise. All right, some more back issues here. And then there are some more um, statues and statuettes and some board games. Let me show you for scale. Let me hold up a comic next to this. I'll hold up a comic for scale. These statues are pretty big. They're like bigger than a comic. All right. Oh, it's Funko Pop. Funko Pop taking over all the uh, comic stores. And then there's more statues in the, uh, there's paraphernalia, cups and stuff, and there's more statues in the corner. Right, but Midtown Comics doesn't have a lot of slabs, and they don't have a, really like a wall of fame of comic books, like a, uh, old school wall. They don't really have that kind of stuff. 
I guess the real estate's so expensive in the city, they got a, the statue's probably uh, much more bang for your buck. Right? If you're running a business. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah! All right, and they have more uh, Batman, Holly Quinn. I don't know if you can see these with the glare. I'm sorry for the glare, but uh, some beautiful statues here. And they have a uh, some Star Wars dolls, the Sandman, or the uh, Tuscan Raiders, right? They're called. Ah! All right, they have Oblivion song in here. Oblivion song number one, but it's the silver foil cover. Is that like a special? Uh, I guess that's, that variant's worth more. And they got Dragon Ball in here. Right, let's go back downstairs. All right, we're back downstairs by the new comic section. And they have a nice house on the lake. You saw that? They had a cover A and cover B. They had all those covers here. Right, that cool indie by uh, James Tinnan. Bruh. And they have uh, Blue Flame is a hot book right now. Right, Blue Flame. Getting a lot of good, great reviews. There's a... Up top, they do have some cool back issues. Some uh, older books up top. Classics Illustrated up there. That's a great run. Classics Illustrated. Aww. There's a bunch of Classics Illustrated up there, up in there. They got some older uh, crossover, Last Ronin. <laughs> Mostly new books, though. All right, so we're back to where we started. Let's go to the front and look at the little wall here. But this looks like all, like, Midtown exclusives, kind of. I'll do a freeze frame so you can check out the books. You serious? But it looks like more Midtown exclusives, not really an old uh, Wall of Fame or anything. But they got crossover. You know, Midtown does have so many exclusives. All the Batman Fortnites. Look at all the Fortnites there. People going crazy over those codes, right? You want the codes in the book? There's some slabs. Walking Dead. Some Walking Dead slabs. All right, and the other side... Also had some uh, comics, but comic books on the wall, but they were mostly like uh, Midtown exclusives as well. And here's all the manga. It's like a whole section here, and it goes down the whole aisle, half the aisle. I saw a bunch of uh, Akira and Berserk books. Do it! Do it! I have a little X-Men poster here. And they have so many signings here, right? All the, uh, because of the proximity to Marvel and DC, so many people have been in this store. That's why the store is so famous. Just their relationships they have with all the uh, professional comic book artists and writers. All right, here's the, here's the uh, oh, look at that deceased poster. We're by the exit now, getting ready to leave. The deceased poster is awesome, man. Look at that, three of them, deceased two. And that uh, Watchmen poster was cool. All right, here's the exit. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour. And it's two, we did all two floors. Let's go back down here. Detective Comics 1000. The Midtown definitely had an exclusive for that, right? Ah, there's a little, uh... <laughs> like I said, there's that, uh... Spider-Gwen, the Midtown exclusive... I have that book. That's a Midtown exclusives cover. Is that the Jane Foster Thor? Alright. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my other videos. And like and subscribe if you like what you saw here. And comment below if I missed anything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And be safe out there. I will talk to you guys soon. Right. You serious?